Let's get back into it. Okay, so we've got 63.8. Need some fire resist, really. That's just got better resistance overall. An extra 4% isn't too bad. Oh, look at that one. That's got the best fire resist, actually, that. So then you might want to take this one down a peg or two. I'm going to still just be a little bit too heavy. Yeah, that's got the best fire resist as well. That... No, that's still okay, and that puts me to under 70%. So this looks like the set. We don't need that. Maximum health, bleed, poison, curse, etc., etc. I'm thinking maybe the one that um, protects you whilst your health is low. Increases damage absorption when health is low. Huey. I think I already maybe had that one on, so we're just gonna swap that. We've got the maximum health. That gives me rolling frames, that gives me stamina. So I think that's it pretty much for the um for the gear. Hello Tainted. Hello flawless. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's funny actually. My health's gone down because I put that ring on. So I have to come back over to the bonfire now. I'm still wondering if I should farm some more souls just to make my life a little bit easier. Because I could farm like another couple of levels, either for a bit more um, equipment load, so I can put on just a bit more gear that's specifically better versus fire. Or just a bit more health, so that way two health potions actually makes more sense. At the moment it's kind of like one and a half health potions. Triple whammy. Yeah, that's fair enough. That got all weird, that did. Alright, get ready for this. 6,000 deaths later. I'll, I'll commit like a couple of 45 minute segments to this, I think. And then I'm done after that. And then I'll just have to keep rinse and repeating. I don't like this boss. I don't feel like um, I can dodge it or predict it as well as I can other bosses. And therefore it makes it less fun for me. Whether that's because I'm a bad player, maybe. But... It's just, it's it's more stressful when there's like so many different moves they, they can do. And you either get lucky with your dodge or you don't. So I'll do one attack at a time. And then wait for him. Ah, oh, that's the grab. I did roll, but... I couldn't roll again after that one, so that roll was enough to allow me to get grabbed. I've got to predict those rolls, but... I'm... It's got such a sort of weird, flowy animation to it, this boss, that makes it really hard to predict. It's just... It feels like it's going to do moves quicker than it is, but then it drags it out, so then you go and do a roll, and then by the time you're mid-roll, well, you can't roll again, and then the boss's hit actually manages to catch you. I love how I can't kill these, so I've basically got to take pretty much a hit or stressfully try to dodge them every single time I run into the boss. That's always enjoyable. It's gonna cost me a just this class a minimum. Sometimes it's better just to go for broke. Okay, it feels like you're going to try to do a grab, but you didn't. Oh, there it is. Just 
whack away. Alright. What the hell is she doing now? Okay. Alright, she's gonna do a spin now, so stay as far away as possible. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So sometimes she does seven of those, other times it's nine. So it's not like, at least it felt that way. I feel like there's a grab coming in the moment. Don't know what the hell that is. Oh, right. A bit lucky there. Oops. I don't know what this is. Is that the spin thing again? That's bad, because she's in the middle of the room, if it is. I don't feel confident enough to go in for a hit, but the longer I leave it, the more likely I am to get hit. Right, I know I can get one hit there. Maybe two. Oh, no, not two. Ah, that was greedy to get a hit in there. Damn, I... I felt like I had to get a hit in there, but... You've really got to be so patient with this boss, it's quite stressful. Because you're like, well, the longer I'm taking, the more likely I am to make a mistake. Because I can't dodge forever. I'm not good enough to dodge 100%. So she's going to get me eventually. And as soon as she gets that hit, boom. That's pretty much it. She takes off, like, 70% of your health. Then you're like, well, I've got to get a health potion in at some point. And then you're even more likely to get hit when you're taking the health potion. Uh, I wish I could kill these guys. I already killed them like 10 times. It's so annoying. And now I'm looking at that little dip in my health now, so it's like a health potion. Right, nope. that was way too late. I mean, way too early, sorry. That's fair enough. What I'll do, I think, in future, because I've got nothing to lose, is just go ham at the start. If she grabs me, she grabs me. It's the very start of the fight. It doesn't matter. Either I get lucky, I don't. I'm not going to spend half an hour dodging around. I'm just going to do as much damage as possible. ASAP. Get her to phase two, and then I'm going to start playing careful. But I'm not going to spend... You know, half an hour playing careful in phase one, I need to get grabbed. And just one shot, that's just depressing. Uh -huh. Fucking hell. God, they're so annoying, these pricks. Stay dead, please. Stay dead. The dancer is not the best boss in the game, it's the most annoying boss in the game. Maybe that's why you think it's the best boss. Because it's the most memorable one, because it's the one that you spend the most time on. Oops, that was fail. Grab. Smack. Smack. Grab. Out of range for both of those hits, even with a massive maze. Health potion. Run. Flames go up. Smack. She did two of those in a row. I've not seen her do that before. See, you know what I mean? This is kind of what I'm getting at. It's just, she's so freaking unpredictable. Like, I've never seen her do two of those before in a row. So that's why I thought I was safe. Roll. Smack. Smack. Roll. Roll. Wait for the next move. And then take a health potion. Wait for like a grab or something. Wasn't a grab. I'm gonna have to come back and take a health potion. This is a pretty crappy run. Reach. That's so funny. Right, 
she's gonna do us. Let's see. Oh, this is bad. I would have had her health lower at this point. So it's pretty much made to just go for the broke. Yeah, just go for the broke, otherwise you're just gonna take just gonna take damage trying to dodge her anyway, so you just gotta go for it. This might be an excuse to swap back to re-roll the game. I have to re-roll the game. Restart Dark Souls free just because of one boss and go either magic build or dexterity build. There's always a third attack, and when there's not a third attack, that's when you regret not hitting. Feels good. That's all it takes is one grab and it's it. Oh! That was like... That's just, again, it's just kind of weird luck, isn't it? Shouldn't that have grabbed me that time, but it didn't. I feel like I'm going to get hit by this. I'm not in a good position to dodge him. Apart from rolling. Managed to roll most of that. If I had a bit more health, I wouldn't be wasting so much, so many Estus points to max out my health. I mean, she doesn't ever attack after that. It's like, how many hits do you want? Seriously, how many hits do you want? You did the one, you did the that, you did the jump up, and it's like, okay, I dodged all of those. You've done your big jump, so surely that's a point when I can hit. Nope. There's another attack after that one. Feels good. There's always another hit with this boss, and that's what makes her s essentially shitty compared to the other bosses. It's because you can't know that. You can't know whether she's doing another hit. Either she doesn't do it, and then you've missed out on doing attacks, or she she does do it. It's like, you can't fucking know. It's guesswork, and when it's guesswork, there's no skill to it. Alright, smack the face. Grab, smack, wait for stamina, smack, smack again, she stumbled, smack, and then dodge, take a health when you get enough distance. Wait for her to make a move, roll, roll. Smack, smack, and then maybe one will smack the green. 
No, that one didn't even give me the smack, even though I was right on it. She kind of had an invincibility on Gonna do another attack after that? Yes, you are. Okay. So that was unfortunate. Okay. I must be able to get at least one more hit in here, and unfortunately, it missed. Smack. Roll. attack and then I still don't feel confident enough to attack Roll. oh I didn't know that one was coming that looks like enough attacks now so I should be able to get one or two hits in oh no she's going back oh, she's like what the hell man What more do you want from me, honestly? Oh. It might be easier than rolling. If I fail this one, I'm going to go and farm for a while. Because I may as well, if I'm going to do it. Just so I can get more health. So I'm not wasting those Estus flasks so much. I meant to roll there, but it didn't work for some reason. A lot of hits. Go and do your spin. Not that bad for me. That should have been a one shot right there. Taking that mace to the face like that. Maybe if I do like run by attacks like that, where I run through her, sort of thing. That way I can run past her after I've done it. Damn. I don't know what moves that she's doing now. Ah, oh, I forget she does that extra attack after that one. Damn. Oh shit. I didn't think I could get a hit in. Like, I know I can run in there, but I don't feel like 
there's a tar- chance where I can get a hit in when she does those kind of moves. Because she's always going to be like, ah, I've just done five attacks. But there's a sixth one as well. I've just done 20 attacks in a row. You think it's safe to attack? No, because there's a 21st one. It's getting better, but it's... When it gets to that point, it's just like, when the fuck... I'm going to have to wait for, like, the one attack that I know that she's not going to do, like, 20 attacks after it, if you know what I mean. I'll have to be, like, super mega patient. Oh, I said I was going to farm, so that's what I'm going to do. Even if I can kill her, I'm just going to farm. Make sure I get enough health. I feel like even if it's just for this boss, which is helpful, but I think it's for the rest of the game. I don't like how I get hit by one creature now in the later areas, and I'm pretty much down to 10% health. It's like, Dark Souls was never that fucking punishing in the previous ones. It's like, oh, you got hit once? 90% damage. I didn't realize I was playing on, you know, one-shot mode. So unless... Unless you, um wear ridiculous armor in this game, you're not going to sort of like be able to manage it. There was another good place for farming, but I know this was one of them. Have you tried getting help on the boss with summoning? No, I don't want to do any of that. Summoning people to help you is scum. I've got enough Estus Flasks anyway. Just kill them quickly. Regardless of whether you get hit or not. Havel's armor in DS1. Absolutely. Good times. This will be a miracle. We've actually got to time those health chugs as well. <laughs> Otherwise, even when you click for it, it doesn't go off. Well, this is a bit worse than I thought. They're all coming at me. Come on then, stop going up in the air because I can't hit you when you're doing that. Stay down. That's better. Hey Kim, thank you very much there for the sub. Oh, that's a one shot. I think you can get like 22,000 souls from this, close to it. Where I think it cost me like 30,000 souls. You have to do this like a few times to get two free levels. It's not going to make like that much of a difference in the dancer fight, but it's also just for the future. It's just like, I need a bit more health in general. Or, equipment mode, which is going to be effective health. But even then, how much do you really need? need loads? The figures that you get from Dark Souls 3 seem to be so stingy. It's like, for example, um,. Oh, unfortunately, it's only 19,000. Uh, yeah, like Blade Master, like for example, if you get one point of agility, that's an extra point of damage, that's 2% attack speed, that's 0.3 armor. In Dark Souls 3, that would be 0.0001 attack damage, that would be 0.025 attack speed. 
that would be 0 0.0000001 armor. So you'd have to get thousands of points for it to actually have any impact. Makes you kind of feel a bit redundant, really. It's a bit depressing when you put a point into something and it does basically nothing. What would happen if I just sort of aggro them all? There's a shield you can put on for main souls. There was a... I think there's a... A ring. That's the greed one. I don't know. That might just be... Yeah, drops, but... My map last curse has gone off the screen. Good times. Group together. What does that weapon ability do? How long does it last for? Should use it more often. In about an hour or two, lolly frame. They're just staring at me like, dude, who invited you? I'm wearing a dress though, so I fit in a little bit. I wonder if I've got any souls. Uh, not really much. A little bit. So effectively I've got like one level at the moment. And you know that one level is going to give me like 40 health out of what the 869 that I've got at the moment or something is like so small. Such a small impact. I don't know whether to go health still or armor. Armor load. The armor load, like, what is the real difference you get? Oops. Like, how many points into equipment load would I have to be before I could actually realistically wear some gear without being, like, 100% heavy weight? I think I, I, I guess I'm safest going health for the time being, so that way I can get two uses out of my essence fast. Oh, I was hoping that would get through them. That way. jump one, but I didn't gather enough speed first. Oh! Shit! <laughs> I forgot that one aggro's on the other side, if you aggro the first gargoyle, if you go that way. 
What stats did your skill so far? I can show you once I've picked up my souls. I'll concentrate on that first. Surprise. I still prefer Dark Souls 1 and 2 because I feel like they had more meaning when what you did with stuff, especially gear, stuff that you pick up. Like, not only just stats, but also the gear. Like, I've got this mace, which is great, but it's it's not what I was exactly after. It doesn't compete with what I had in Dark Souls 2. It doesn't compete with the great sword from Dark Souls 1 that you get from the knight fairly early on. And then the armor is way better in Dark Souls 1 and 2. I feel like the armor's been completely inconsequential in this. Like, I've tried to have some sets for, like, you know, oh, this one's got a bit more poison or bleed resist. This one's got more bleed. This one's got more frost resist. It's like, but it's so minuscule. There doesn't seem to be that much of a difference. There's no sort of proper sets in this. There probably are, but it, I haven't felt like i come across them compared to the previous two games. You ran through the whole game with one of the starting weapons. You can kind of do that in the first couple of Dark Souls games. But in this one, this dark, this weapon is good. It served me very well, but it's not as not what I wanted compared to the other two. I had more fun with the other two. So you kind of got to play a less fun time. Do you know what I mean? Obviously it's completely subjective. This is my opinion. But for me, I had more fun with the Dark Souls 1 and 2 weapons and armor. Um, that's my stats. Required souls is 32,000. So we want about 63,000 before going back. I've got 23 figure, which is health. 18 vitality, which I think is equipment load. Strength is at 45, which is a hell of a lot of points, but it does jack shit. I put points into it so I could use um, the Smaug weapon, but I can't get any shards to freaking upgrade the Smaug weapon. So this is also worse when it comes to shards. You can't actually upgrade. There's no. There's not as much excitement behind, oh, I can pick up, I can farm for shards, or I can do this so I can really get that weapon upgraded. I've been, like This mace I've been using forever, and it's only plus three. Dexterity is at 26. Like, there's a lot of points. I'm not actually like, using dexterity weapons, though, so I'm not getting too much use out of that. And the strength is what I should be getting the most use out of, but it actually does, like, dog shit damage. This mace probably does, like, almost the same damage if I had 25 strength as opposed to 45 strength. So I've got kind of a lot of wasted points. They wouldn't be wasted in Dark Souls 1 or 2, but in Dark Souls 3, strength is not rewarded. And I didn't... It's a shame because it's, it's my preferred playstyle. It's my favorite game. Time it goes better. Oh. It's gone better already. Like having a break makes a big difference. Um, my fights versus the dancer have been far more successful as opposed to like the last like couple of hours or whatever I spent on it beforehand. That. Got her down to like 30-ish percent and then sort of like got into this panic mode where I didn't feel like I could ever get an attack in without sort of like risking losing too much health. So I think I just gotta be mega 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 patient, which is not my playstyle. If anyone knows me, I'm not a very patient person. But you have to pretty much wait for the one attack move that she does, where she actually doesn't do another attack after that attack. You just gotta sit through her 19 different attacks and wait for the one where you know you can get hit. But it comes so rarely, so you've gotta dodge by it five straight minutes until she does that one attack. Oh, I was hoping I would hit that one as well. See, this mace is big, but it's not as large as it. The attack is actually, like, really small when you look at it. It's pretty much almost just straight in front of it. Whereas I feel like in Dark Souls 2 and 1, I could attack much further in front of me. So I don't even have that sort of luxury. 
So why would you ever go strength in this game? I totally understand why everyone just goes dexterity build. It makes so much more sense. That's probably enough, to be honest. I've got a few souls in my backpack, so if I just use those up, get two points in health, it's not going to make much of a difference, but it's, it gives me a bit of a break as well from fighting the boss. Maybe that's what I should do, like every six to seven failed attempts, go farm a little bit more, because not only does it just help to build up your character, it just gives you a break from the boss. looks a complicated game. It's not that complicated, Kai. At least the first couple ain't so complicated. That's what I like, just running around with the type of weapon. I knew where to get the right weapons and the armor in Welcome the previous games. Very well, then hey. Frostbite doesn't affect enemies as far as I know. Try using a weapon with better strength rating. I suppose I should look into that. So, hang on a second. Vitality. You get two points into equipment load, but how much percentage is that? I don't know what 58 to 59 is. It'd be nice if I could test putting on gear and go, ah, oh, okay, I've got another 5% of gear I can put on. That should do it. You need 1500 health. Well, I certainly don't have 1500 health. I got 879. If I could respec, could you respec with this game? Why don't I just respec? And just remove basically all of my strength. Yes, you can respec at Rosaria. Yes, in Cathedral. Where is that then? Oh. <laughs> Still can only get one point. See you later. So, one of the things that interests me is theoretically. If you went maximum equipment load, is that not effectively more health in the long run than actually points in vitality? Because vitality is like flat health, but if you get enough points in equipment load, you should theoretically be able to get enough gear on that would mitigate more damage than that flat health you put on in the first place. Do you have the weapons for change and build though? No. Not really, but I don't think I need as many points in strength. I would probably put the minimum amount of points in strength and then just put the maximum in like equipment load and um, health. I could still run around with a two-hand mace and stuff. But what I noticed is, is I previously, because I kept coming across mobs that would survive one hit with my mace. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll put another point in strength. And they'd still survive it. Like, strength was basically doing nothing for my damage. But I then started to put points in it because I got excited about the smell of weapon. I got like excited about the theory of having the weapon, but the practice of using it was shite. Oh, it doesn't matter that much for health, just for poise. Rosaria's in the Cathedral of the Deep. Welcome, speak. Very well. Then touch Hagen. Not fat enough to use the Smaug weapon. I'm sh I'm strong enough, but it just does no damage. Like, we tested it. I got 45 strength. Uh, I think it was, like, a while ago. But and then I started attacking things with it, and it just... It was pathetic. The weapon looks so cool, but it's, like, doing nothing. 
And I can't upgrade it because I've got no freaking shards to upgrade it with. Because you can't get shards in this game. The ones that you need to upgrade anything. I'll just go with a flat health. So we're going from 879 to 947. So we're basically getting, what, 60, 68 or something like that? 68 health. After like oh, well, 63,000 souls or something. Like, why can't I buy some cool stuff? Just what need. Why is this game so punishing? Like, I know it's Dark Souls, but it's like, dude. Make, you can still make the game fun. Can't upgrade that. It requires Titanite scales. And it says it needs eight of them, right? I've got one. I don't come across Titanite scales very often. This one needs two twinkling Titanites. I've got zero of that. That's a rare one. How do you know um, which weapons benefit the most from strength without sort of like checking the spreadsheets outside of the game? Like, how do I know which one of these free strength weapons benefits the most? The attribute bonus, where is that? C to C. Yeah, but they're all C. So how would I know? That goes C to B, and that's A to A, but that's like, because the butcher knife is plus A. Pretty be careful, I go. They're all C, but different scaling. But how could you know which one scales the most without actually having to put points into it? Welcome, host. Very well, then taken. So it was mentioned, um, Cathedral of the Light or the Deep, something like that. There's Cathedral of the Deep. 